money on my mind, money, money, money. Hmm, this well. Welcome on board to Prevailing Asia with Taj okay? Help me to call our people. Help me to share. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're watching us from. Yes, we are on all our platforms again tonight because we want to talk about something that we parents should be aware of. And we should stand up as a voice now or it can be never. Now or never. Welcome on board, everybody that has come on board. Thank you for coming. Please help me to hear as you come. Yes, you have seen what we have written out. I'm not going to take much of your time tonight because I'm sure you've watched um, this Yabo Joe's um, uh, interview with DJ Splash. We talked about DJ Splash yesterday. Um, this is about Mobad, you know. Mobad is the in thing. Mobad is a trending story. Mobad is an emole, a bulb that has come to light up the world. That has come to put some lights into what we are all confused about. To expose the evil in the society, especially among the entertainers, which we call the musicians. Ah, Yabo has started a video. Eh? We have to watch Yabo because, ah, hey, Joe, I want to be where I'm going to go. She's there, you know. She just started a, 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 a kinesi. But because of the fact that it's all about what she has been able to give us, a black bonnet, Yabo. Yabo has come out with black bonnet. Oh, yeah. But she has come out this morning. Until your interview, I want Mama DJ okay, Slash. So guys, Let's I listen to Yabo. To come back live to do this. Um, this is Yabo. Um, She's using DJ. black bonnet. So there's a problem somewhere. Um, <laughs> Hello, Yabo. Is using black bonnet. I think uh, people don't understand what a peaceful work is. A peaceful work that we wanted to a do tomorrow. Peaceful work is different from protest. This work means you just want to go visit some high authorities who will want them to. I would like everyone like, to. Who will want them to get involved in the matter or are already involved in the matter and just let them yeah, know that we are really, you know, like interested in this case and we really want justice. Me, Alice Iabujo. I am all about justice. Mm. And for us to get justice, we must mount pressure. Mm. Because that's what the system has reduced us to. We need to mount pressure. But there are ways you can mount pressures in a very calm manner that yes. it doesn't have to. Yes, they started their investigation, they added the DSS and Obviously, I even posted it on my page. I, I was happy about it. But we already had announced that we we're going to do our peaceful work. And that was the written letters to this. Because we've given them a letter telling them we're coming. We already sent a letter on what we want them to do. Our foundation has sent that letter. But we also wanted to go in person to say thanks. This is what we have said. And we can see that. The process has started mm. because we can see that a lot of things has been set up. We can see, but we just want you know to. We just want you to know that we are really serious really about it. Ah, yabo, my God, okay. in more, more, more by getting justice. Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted to do. It was just to go and see them. We sent a, le a letter and we wanted to come forward to say, at a letter, we're giving you a letter. We know you've received it and we are grateful. We can see that the governor is working, we can see that the CP is working, we can see that the IG is working, we can see that even the DSS is involved. We really appreciate it. These are the other things that we also said that we have not seen, 
and that we do not know whether it is happening. And then they will be able to shed light into it. Oh, we're taking this process. You guys need to give us two, three weeks or you know, we'll get back to you on this matter. This is that we wanted to sit down with them and have that dialogue. And so that we, the concerned ones, can, hear can the go voice. back home. Mm -hmm. Learn fully well that they started the work, they've heard our cry the more, and they know that the pressure is on. Hmm. So that is exactly what the peace work was meant for. Process was mm -hmm. about. Yeah, which most of the states did today. Me, I'm going to be 46 by God's grace. Yeah, yeah, you're a big girl. If I had my child on time, I definitely can have Mubad Mubad as a child. Bene. So for me, mm. the candle light is not, the young ones, his colleagues in the industry can do that. That's not my thing. It's not about candle light. Me, it's about justice. Mm. That's what we have. They started, for. but we need to know. We want to be involved. We have to be involved. Like mm. we said, Nigeria cannot get better by just we sitting down there and folding our hands. Mm -hmm. We need. Ah, who is holding meeting now? Are you man a cow? Who is flagging the apple? Oh, please. Now. Be involved. You need to be part of it. The shape of that thing. Oh. Anyways, um, Protest is everywhere, you know. Um, for today, it was everywhere. They had it in Akure, Ondo, Ibadan, Oyo. Most places had peaceful uh, protests today for this young guy, you know. But for Lagos, they are saying because of the fact that um, they feel that there is one particular video that is going, that's circulating, and they believe that, you know, that video is fake. They said there was... A problem that there was the, that um, the protest was hijacked, which which is a big lie. There was nothing like that. So just lover has made us to understand that that's a big lie. So uh, it's okay because of that. Now they are saying they are canceling Lagos own. You know Lagos can be volatile because of the fact that you know what Lagos is always like when it comes to protest. So the Lagos state government believes that, and the police believes that. If they have that protest, there might be a problem. Now, let's quickly go back because Yabo is still um, missing in action. I think our live uh, thing went off, but I'm sure she's coming back. But before she comes back, let's continue with our own. Yes, we were talking about drug abuse. We we're talking about Yabo is back. Yes, Yabo is back. We might not be able to do mm -hmm. our own, too, but I don't mind. I, I really want. And I can see people blaming Tony. Tony is part of the committee. She was there because you know this this um, thing, with this um, justice that we're seeking. I can't do it alone. Yes. So I had this. Um, in fact, we had two WhatsApp groups. Mm. We had one for the like the bodies of the group, the head of the groups, right? Mm. And then we had another one. So we have a lot of people that are on board, people who say they were interested, they want to be part of it, they came on board. Like the we have them there. And she's part of the of the group. Hope you're hearing us. So when I went to see um DJ Splash. Splash, mm -hmm. I also went to visit uh Mubad's mom mm. and wife. Good peace. And I was the one who called that when I was going there that I'm going to this is a Mobat. I said, okay. She just got home. I said, come, come and join me. Let's go and visit her together. At least before that, before we're doing the work, at least before we go for the work, at least let's see her. Let's you know console her, let's comfort her and both of them, and then we can go. So she came. So while we were there was when she received uh, the call. I think they were trying to get across to me. And uh, my lawyer was trying to get across to me. They couldn't get across to me. So I don't know. They called Tony and Tony passed the phone, the to, phone to me. 
Do you understand that the city wanted to speak to me? And then they explained everything that was going on. And I said, okay, no problem. We will call off the protest, the, uh, the peaceful walk. Mm. Because if they are saying some people want to I sabotage it, mm -hmm. then there's no point. Mm -hmm. But they said that I can come with few people whenever we want to see them, but they just don't want the the, the work because the crowd. some people are trying to sabotage it and they used Abekuta as an excuse, you know. And I said, okay, it's fine. Do you mm. understand? So, and Tony and I decided that, okay, let me come live, so? let me do a live video and let me tell you guys that um, we're no longer doing the peaceful work. But you know, I said, okay, we came on board and then Tony also had to say exactly what he had heard. So we don't need to be distracted, but at the same time, we don't need to accuse or point accusing fingers towards Tony. We've been in this um, group all along. It's not only her, there's a lot of people there. It's not, a, it's not a political battle. It's not a political war. It's not a political situation. Hmm. It's not a political anything. It's just about an innocent boy hmm. whose life, life was cut short, short. Hmm. by God knows what. Hmm. Who has been bullied. Obviously. Who has been maltreated. Hmm. It's just all about Mubad getting justice. That's it. So it has nothing to do with uh, whether because somebody is APC or whether somebody is LUP. Let's not be distracted. If they're saying that they don't want us to have um, the work, it's fine. Hmm. At least they are, they are not saying they don't want to see, see any of us. Right? They're saying we can come. They just don't want the crowd because they don't want you know anything Trouble. to happen. Mm. So it's okay. So those of us that they've allowed to come and see them, we'll find time and then we'll go and see them. And when we get there, we will have that um, discussion. We will ask them everything that you want us to ask them. We will ask them. And I will definitely, trust me, get back to you and tell you exactly what it is. So that, don't let us say one person is a suspect. No, 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 please. Let's not be divided here. Let us be one, please. It's not a political thing. It's all for Mubad. He wants justice. And we have to give him that. His soul is crying for justice. I would appreciate if everybody mm -hmm. can just calm down and just let us do the needful and let's just, you know, make this poor boy get justice. So. Thank you, Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm. Thank you so much, Yabo Ujo, for the updates on the on the issue of um, sorry, uh, people on preventing university research. Okay, on the issue of protest for tomorrow. If you if you've been on our blogs, you know I've been blogging since I went I went to the office. I came back, you know, and I've been putting it out, you know. Cutting from all bloggers, what has been going on, you know, concerning the protests all over the, the uh, all over Nigeria, in states, Ogun, or your Ekiti, the Ekiti one is bam, you know, on Kiti Undo, you know, they've been doing this protest and it's so big, peaceful, nothing, nothing has happened, nothing, no violence has been reported. So, what is she protesting here? For who? For our one and only Imole, one and only Mobad of Nigeria. Do you understand? Now, Yabo, you, if you see what I tagged out, I said, thank you, Yabo Ujo. Yabo Ujo, you know, she went to see DJ Splash today. You heard it when she said it, that she was there to see the family. You know, our campaign on this platform has been no say no to substance misuse which is my own primary aim in this struggle 
because I know most of these people are going through a lot when it comes to substance misuse. And that is where the awareness is coming from. We, the parents, we need to know where our words are going. Who we are giving our words to, to mentor. And that is why I'm going to show you the video of Yabo today. I don't know if you've watched it. For some of us that are not on um, Instagram, you know, you can see it from here. Remember Mubad? Mubad was bullied to death. Mubad was intimidated to death. Mubad said, according to what they said, was being pushed into cultism. Alleged pushed into cultism. And we had a, a, a voice note yesterday where somebody called in into a program and told them his own experience about what he experienced when he wanted to, to blow in Nigeria. Now, this young guy, Timo Solano, if you were, you're following us, I talked about this guy, um, DJ Splash, before to a sitter, we saw him, a young, promising child of about 16 years, then left a, um, his parent, that is mother, a widow, and left to live with Naramali. Now, we saw the video of this guy, when uh, the picture of this guy, when he was newly signed in by Naramali. Look, tonight, I don't want us to focus our attention on Naramali alone, as parents, as Nigerians. But we are calling on Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency to look beyond Naramali. And go straight into that industry. Let them dip their inner eyes into the industry. And see what is going on there. Forget about Nayamali. Of course, Nayamali is the issue now. Because Omulu Otobani won't popularize it. Igbo. Nayamali will popularize Igbo. Emma Binum Feton. Fan you. I need to put on this one because um, a little bit cold. That flush is still very long. Mama needs a lot of popularity, Igbo. Only you are a Malian. Malians don't have respect. Malians don't wear belts. Malians don't read. Malians don't study. Malians are, they don't care. He made the youths believe that there is a life outside education i read one of the tweets between himself and dolapo you know the dpo what's that Pop, uh, public relation officer of police the Nigerian police lagos states or uh, dolapo one beautiful lady if you see the way he was talking to that lady that tweets or instagram post will have been about two years old now the lady brought it out that when she was campaigning against this guy, there are people within and outside that were against her. Omodolapo, if you know her, Amakbeni Astalito Moji, beautiful, intelligent police officer. You understand? She campaigned publicly against this particular person, Naira Mali. Only Bobo Yi, Bushin B or Yi, Bushin Mua or Yuti, O my Baye you to Jenny Nigeriani. O my Baye you to Jenny Nigeriani. It was during his own time. Nimoriti, Naira Mali will be saying, young stars will be saying, we don't respect, we Malians don't respect anybody. Malians don't have to go to school. So, this lady, this particular police officer, said it because she, 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 she's one of those ones that are on Instagram. You know, she's a socialite. 
And she made it a point of duty to tell, tell the whole world that this guy be careful. Because he's being seen as a mirror to the young generation. Somebody tweeted today that, you know, for years, Naya Mali made them believe that they don't need their belts. So he doesn't even know how much they sell belts in the markets now. Because he never used belts for about five years. You don't have to wear your, you have to sag. Uh, you have to put your trouser. Sometimes, uh, like when it came out, I was saying, maybe very, very soon now, we'll see people walking without trouser. Because that, that was what it came to teach them. Now, that is why I'm saying NDLA, awareness show, Lele. NDLA needs to know that it goes beyond Naira Mali alone. They should look inwardly into all the people, these labels, what they do with their young stars. Especially those ones that they put now in Ireland that they call Lekki. What do they do with these people? They are grooming them. That is where you are seeing them. They are being groomed to sell their substance to those young ages. I want to get KK. Ni age I want to talk to Abe. Ti want to buy a wonje. They are grooming these youngsters. They have taken over the way they do it. Ni what do that way? You can't solo ibo. I want to see Shane in Nigeria. DJ Splash. Yabodo, first and foremost, everyone on my program, please let's pray for Yabo Ojo. Yabo Ojo, I've always loved you anyway. I don't know. Um, I, even while I was in the industry, I never met her. But I loved her. Since the incident of Babai Jesha, whether you like it or not, everyone has got their own opinion about that case. But for me, a pedophile is a pedophile. A child abuser is a child abuser. I will never, never support such a person. Whether the person was famed or whatever, that's your choice. She came out and told her own story about how she was molested when she was a baby. And that was how she had that passion for it. I told you I grew up in Ireland, in Lagos Island, Isaleko. I told you that I grew up in Ireland, Talu first of all, who do you want to speak to? Do you understand? now. So, Iyabo said she came out because she had gone through it. And that was why she stood her ground on that case. Many people hated her for it. But for me, for the fact that I've got children, I've got girls. Do you understand? As a mother... Even guys, it's not only girls that are, they are being molested. I want me go molest I want more kekeke or kekeke or kumi. So, for that, I am standing, and I, I sorry, I stood by Yabo, and I stood by her family, and by all that you know that that thing happened to. But then, this one now that we are talking about. We are talking about lives of young stars. They are being cut short. Look, Mubad is dead. But Mubad died for the truth to be unveiled. For us to know the ills in that industry. industry In fact, Mubadu da bi Jesu to wa ku fun ese awon kan ni because with this Mubad's movements this 
is a movement that is going to shake the whole world. Believe me. For us in Nigeria, you have seen how they have been stopping Malia music. Look, I don't play Beki Ijeomote Miton as a parent. And I'm sure um, Malia, Mal, um, Naya Mali's mom too will be worried about the income of her own son. But lives, futures of that generation is being destroyed by drugs. When your child is going through that, you will know what I'm talking about. When the people you're working with closely are going through mental health, you know what I'm talking about. But if you have not witnessed it, or you don't have any relative that is into substance misuse, you will not understand what I'm talking about. Wani we re dun wo, o she bilomu. Si mo ba ti muntan soi. Mo ma gwe a wala wo wo ni. It is not them alone now. Yabo ojo, you are standing up for the truth. You are standing up for the unborn generation that will remember that your name one day and all the people that are clamoring for peace for say no to drugs say no to bullying people will remember you for this day we've got a lot of our celebrities yeah that are out there always wanting to uh, to chase cloud cl uh, Clouds. Yabojo, I am saying it authoritatively here. Yabojo, you are not chasing clouds. I've seen who you are. I can see the passion in what you do. Thank you. Because of that yesterday, we were still thinking about how to get that mother, DJ Splash Mom. Remember, one is in the grave now. Who is Mubad? But how many of them are in that bondage that you know? It's only because of the fact that uh, DJ Splash's mom saw the opportunity for her to come out and raise a concern out there. She has been tying her son down with chain or multi mental health issue. But there is nobody to talk to. She was afraid because of the people that they are dealing with. We saw the interview of that boy today. Where he said, Nayamali wanted to poison him. And you could hear when the guy was talking. You could see that even his, his, his speech was slow. Slow speech. You... There are times you can't even pick what he was saying. He was trying to speak in, you know, slang. But that's not even the issue. You could, you, you will see in that boy that he's got mental health issue. He needs help. Which Yabo is raising fund for, for him. Yabo is raising that fund in the mother's name. Not on her own name. Not on her foundation name. NDLA needs to go into all these people. Find out. Thank you for long, short time. I'm sad. NDLA. They said you have never raided Nayamali's home. Why was it that it's the home he rented or that this guy, Mopad, was living like was, um, you know, you you people read it was read it. Why was it that house? If not planned, but that is not it because you are going to make your inquiries about that. Your investigation is going to be around those things. But the truth is, it's more than what you people are thinking about. The industry is full of 
what we are talking about grooming you are signing them on to peddle it for you to peddle drugs for you come about it come about it i go give you logo i want to kick kick see the lives that this particular cartel has destroyed This is DJ Splash. That, you know, was discovered by them as a young, talented uh, DJ. And they signed him here, brought him into their home. You know, the way they would say, okay, let's bring you into our home. So that he no other. And poor parents, because of the fact that they believe that, ah, yeah, I want to see that. Um, BNK about support fellow Benyo Kwasi no lie ni. Inu inu ni adu now. Ntingi Zino. We are going to talk about Zino too. That is why I say, please. Eh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's why I'm saying, please. NDLA, look into every artist that this guy Naira Mali and his cohorts are signing on they might need up more than what we think about zeno that everybody has been calling do you have you seen the way that guy looks now secrets are now unveiling that even the ferrari the house that naira mali or the malian label said they bought for him are not in his name they are in malian's label's name properties they showed where that Zeno's mother lives, parents lives. The parents still lives in the slum. And their son is making millions. Just the same way Mobad was making millions on the Malian and the parents never felt the money. Let's quickly see this boy. Ewo, bugu e nya biamo. Oju a biamo ni kebiba mi wo omo yio. Ke de won ton so. Ewo. That's the boy. That's the boy. I'm sure you will have watched it. In Yabo Ojo say. If you have not watched it, go to Yabo Ojo's page, please. Oh, we're gonna be big. Get to shake me. Me more. Move go go loud, gone boy. It's not loud. Maybe the way the guy is talking, sharp. Between me and him. If I don't get it, I'll just uh, I, I, Okay. It's not my music. Nah, I know about music. Like, you know about music. I know. Yeah. So I'm trying to put into music. So I sing. That's the boy. Now, Mukofeke, would you boy? Elbow shaving thing. I tell him, you are coming this this world. This one. It was a Malian thing, Victoria. So that's the way they talk. I don't have to. 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 I don't have
He doesn't give him money while he was there with him. Any work I see and do, I used to use my space, my space, to eat, food, to put on, dress. He doesn't give you money, he doesn't give you food. He doesn't give me money. He doesn't give you money. Okay. So, I'm just trying to do some things. Like, he doesn't be like, he left home. Okay. Alright. So, you know, I'm talking about. So, as I tell him, this work I want to be doing now, and honestly, if you want to watch the full gist, you can go to Yabo Joe's page on Instagram, and I think she has a V V blog. She has a V blog. Sorry, not I think. I know she has a V blog on Facebook. Please go and watch the full um, broadcast on her page. But I'll just give you a brief um, summary of what went on there. That guy I just showed you. Have you seen his picture before that time? This is a guy that was healthy. He was looking good. Before our daddy, Nairamali, took him from his parents. Oh, God. Put that way, um, this love, I'm going to see you on call me. Sorry, look at look at the lives that this ones have destroyed. Can you see? This is Z, Z, uh, Zeno. That's him up there. You could see when he signed him, and then after. This is the other guy. What is his name? I will to show show him since Sogo. This is him. I'm going to show you on uh, prevailing issues that you can now. Look, that's the guy. See how fresh he was before he became what he is today. And this is Mobad before they took his life. It's just for you to know, you understand that these ones are life destroyers. It was Zeno. Remember the sign Zeno Tony you. Look at Zeno. Zinoski, that's him now. Before, did you see what it was like? So, just like this young guy, a woboshi swaye boy leader. Look at him in the middle with with uh one page Do you understand? Now omoke kere jojolo. That the mother is just a widow managing herself with two other children, making three. This guy is the second born. Eh? The mother was managing herself with the children and he went for um contest for DJ contest or whatever and he was chosen. According to him, he was being laced. Not at your care. He was being laced with substance every time. Yabo asked him why did he leave. He said he had because he wanted to change from being a DJ to become a musician. Just like the Zenos and all that. Champion DJ come and play music money. But he wanted to perform. So he said he overheard them saying, let's give him more. So that I will really call me that or whatever. So for them, he's an energizer. He gives them inspiration. He said he heard that. But believe me, this guy has been, since he moved into the Malians' home, has become one of them. You can hear I think what some of the tutorship he gives to them is the voice. Because if you see all of them, they speak in Agana Agana. 
You know he's from Peckham. That's Mali himself. Naya Mali. He's from Peckham. So maybe they are now... Or maybe I just feel... You know when somebody is your mentor, you want to talk like you want to talk like him. Oh, fed that be a good bone con of every mula guy. Oh, fed me go con. Oh, fed me. Oh, fed me anything about your mentor. He he already lost. Oh Lord, yeah, baby, God blessed you. He already lost his mind. The mother said it that, you know, she has taken him to so many places, afar. Babala wo pastor. You could see that she even said they went to synagogue, you know, just for deliverance. How many parents are like that? Maybe to drop to buy your molo moje, and that is a pecon. See, Moman Shenny Bessie Ayemi, and when we can shake me, but a pecon to man shuffle go go and eat and ta a go 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 to ba ku ojo kon te ma ku eje ya laye eje dohun awon omo yin o wa ni wa laye bi eni to gbe le aye iya te fi je awon omo olomo olomo fi je awon omo ha fi je won di won di won di won yin lase itumare gbogbo te fi to awon omo na mu wa ni e won e ni jere mu tori you are destroying lives look at that young boy if the mother had known, she would have left him in her own care. And be eating a bar and gari, be drinking your gari in peace. But because the mother felt, oh, it's going to blow with Naira Mali. Not only Naira Mali that is involved in this. We have had secrets being exposed because of this immole that has come to turn us to our We pay Bobo and one record labels here, non low drugs. If you're using your own drugs, if you're misusing substance, must you extend it to the younger generation? Look at that boy. It's only God that will bring him back. Because the mother said it was even worse. Seeing him that way gone is a miracle. So it's getting better. Better. La Filippo Shelly Wai. Ego Gio Logo Tibayeje. The assassin substances, we saw a very large one. They said that that was the largest that has been seized some months ago before Ashiwagi became the president. Where is the consignment? They said they burnt it because it belongs to the rich and the elites. And dearly, your own, you officers that are working in those agencies, don't be surprised that they will introduce your children to it if you don't act fast. Don't be surprised. Naira Mali might be the only one that we are all focusing our attention on now because of the fact that, you know, of the mother that just died. But all of them are involved. NDLA, please go get your search lights and do it the proper way. NDLA Nigeria, go and do the proper investigation into grooming. It's a big deal in Nigeria now. They are grooming our youths, especially that side I'm pointing to, which is your lucky. Because that's where they know these rich people are and the children can afford it. They are, we are losing lives. Naira Mali, you know, do well, though. The thing where you can't introduce to the children, you don't do well. Anywhere where you hide puts. We know you went, you know, doing, you went for uh, concerts and all these things happened behind. But you, you know the truth wherever you are now. 
that there is fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. And that's why you're on the run with Samilari. I be Samilari. Your tongue. But you've got children. And according to that woman, she said, Oh man, pray, Mama, Naira. Mama Naira, I need your mom with Sinle. So Mama Naira too. And the boy even talked about Mama Naira too. So definitely, Mama Naira was very, very, uh, sorry, is deeply into this too. So the mother knows what her son does. And she's a supporter. According to the boy that we heard him speaking. Of course, when they come out now, they will tell you that, you know, he's God, scum, scum, scum. Talo bayege. If you have not seen that boy's picture, fresh boy. You can look for a clearer picture of that boy. Um, DJ Splash. Look at this. Picture. Ah, my shoe, my shoe. And they buy you a no, 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 no. I splash, my, my, with Jojo. I worry. I'll be for two, a listen. This is a picture of him now. Yeah, look at him now. With Yabo. Look at him now. Yeah, Mafi on internet. See him now. After drugs. After his life has been. Partially destroyed because God is going to restore him. <coughs> and look at him. Nayamali. Nayamali, madness will be my DJ Splash, where are you now? If every picture on you, but see, this is when Naira, the first time he met him, he met the devil. Look at the first time. He met them. Look at him. The boy then will see. That's the boy. Would you say he's not a shadow of himself? Shema woman, any chick was a shadow of himself. Me, a woman terry. The way that you're more full and to find. We need an explanation. What happened to this boy? What did Naira Mali feed these children? These are children that are supposed to be under their parents. But for the fact that they trusted you, they believed in you. They left their children for you as a mentor. You will listen their food with it. Hey Joe, NDLA Nigeria. Um, NDLA Nigeria. Lagos State Police. Yes. You have not stopped your work. Oh. Of course, you are going to assume the body of Imole. Because he is the one giving us light to all these things. But that is not enough. You have a lot of work to do. It's not only the music industry. Read all their parties. All these parties they do, they do drug parties. They serve them as if they are eating food. Please, NDLA, go and read their parties. We are standing by you. Go into their parties. You will see what they give your words. Your children might be unlucky to be part of them. But if you save them today, you will thank me later. They serve them cakes, drinks. Some of them, unfortunately, will drink some drinks that they don't know that has been leased. Go and search them. 
All the big guys you call big guys are those ones that are behind all these people. What are you doing about them? What are you doing about them? Ah, oma kun yo kolo won ba. O kun yo kolo won ba. And this guy is not the only victim. Mobad is not the only victim. DJ Splash is not the only victim. Zino that everybody has been shouting since yesterday that Zino uh, is the one that has been favored, you know. And Kiniko Kiniko. Zino has removed Malian's name from his Kini. His bio on IG. It could be a market strategy because you know they've said they've stopped all Malian's music. It could be, but that is not where we are going. Zino himself might not find things easy. Did you hear that all the things this guy buys he buys them in his own name in his records name and the guys will be coming out to post that emi money ferrari emi money but they are going through a lot it's unlikely that zeno himself is not finding things easy and that is why everybody is saying zeno should talk now before it's too late ah, zeno, ah, no 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 Magic, you can't his food drink, says he's become sick. Look at Zeno. Look at Zeno. See the way the guy looks. I will show you. On a mind, no go touch ground. On a mind, no go touch ground. Look at Zeno. With all the money they said this guy is making. Una mine, no go touch ground. Una mine, no go touch ground. This is a guy that they said is making millions Una... for Nayamali. Can you see the way he's doing? Okay. They showed where the mother lives. She still lives in the slum. So it goes beyond Nkotibububangi. These children are being used for child labor. Most of them he took under age when they were not yet 18 and took them upon himself to, for them to live under him. He targets vulnerable ones, the poor that are living in the slum, that has got talents. Two later, for all of you, Record labels that are into this. Have you forgotten that you've got life and there is God? These children will make music for you. You are making money out of them already. Why would you on earth? And that is what I'm saying on people that are saying they are doing charity. And the charity, you are putting your name on the charity, you're building a house for somebody, you're buying a car for somebody, you're doing whatever for, for somebody, you're putting your name or your charity name on that. It is wrong. Only long people see who comedy. Just like this particular person that we are talking about. And individuals like him. How would you say somebody is under your record and is making, is working for you? Is working for you and you're buying all the properties in your record's name. People should fight for these guys. Though. Me and my blood, I can't even fight. We thank God Yabo Ojo and Akwats are really working on that. But truth be told, a lot of Nigerians do take advantage of vulnerable people. Whatever you're doing, be transparent. 
That guy's parents are still living in the slum. Zinoleski, Abi Zinoski. This is the guy that has Ferrari, according to you. And he was boasting that his Ferrari is the only bomber boy, bomber boy that has that kind of Ferrari. Yeah, then Benny Nuyera. To me, for me tonight, it's for us to call on NDLA to look beyond um, Nayamali. Check all the people. Oh, no, yeah, baby, to render them useless. Hmm. Check all the ones that he has signed. That is label record assigned. They they will need your help. Most of them to Yawiri. What if you go or a book you know what if you bat it in one They will need your help. And you'll find out too. Some are keeping quiet because a rumba they can't speak out. Please look for them and help them out. And not only him, others that are involved in this trade. If you don't know NDLA Nigeria, grooming is happening under your very nose. Before you know it, they turn Nigeria into something else. If care is not taken. If you don't act fast. These people are making millions, billions out of youngsters and destroying their futures. This is time for you to stand up against the ill of that society because it's a big deal. But you can do it if you really want to do it. That is that for... Um, DJ Splash and others that we are calling the NDLA for to look into their matter. For Imole, Mobad, you have put, given us lights. They didn't make him an ambassador. I think they, um, he went there to show his support and his friend to show his support for drug uh, abuse, uh, whatever campaign. So, but I don't think they made him um, an ambassador. No, just like the other time we were saying Olomo was made an ambassador. I don't think he was made an ambassador. He went for a court sea visit, like this other guy. Uh, so I don't think he's an ambassador. And if he is, please, that means you, you are you are using somebody that is selling something. And you are telling that person to come and promote that thing. That's that's just it anyway. But I believe it's not. Anyway, that's that's for him. You're welcome. Now, the Imole Mobad is an Imole. Have you seen everywhere today? Maybe too much she campaign. Um, peaceful protest. It was really peaceful. And he has come to say, okay, I will die for your sins. All of you, be good. That we call big boys of a society. Now, I really want to beg this dark man. If you know dark man, very dark man. I know man Instagram. The guy has been doing very well when it comes to this fake organic cream sellers. He was the one, he's one of the first people that is making the whole world know about their lies. Because think of the organic cream. I want to talk organic cream. I want to talk organic. Oh, that man has said something today, and I'm really not happy with him. Reason being that um, this is not time for this. Omoto Yossi, you're welcome. Tebamo, very dark man. You know him on Instagram. 
it a lot talks of people about are already trying to set up a GoFundMe, which is a very good idea. It might be no uh, for you. I can also give Mobas child a good life. But then again, I don't think this is the right time, you know, because even the day they buried Mubad, right where they were burying the boy, they were still dragging property. They were already telling the girl to bring land documents. They were already saying the girl was holding that. money and blah, 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 blah. These people never even reach out to mourn their behavior. Your breadwinner, you are not a drag money, you are not a drag material property. You understand? Other than, other than this reason said, again, even the girl's safety is at stake. Even the guest safety is at stake. So we they are should do the investigation the when it blows out. Or people can contribute the money, keep it somewhere. Secondly, I like the fact that they are bringing out mobile body for autopsy. Yeah. Why they are doing that? I beg, they need to do DNA tests for that picking. What you should say true, true, and mobile get them. Because it's all those things that get the rights. Actually, the rights are paid. Oh, they make me a widow at this one. There are all those ones. Uh, I see a lot of people are already trying to set up a GoFundMe, which is a very good idea. Hey, trying to get money to see. If you watch crime movie, you're gonna understand everybody get yeah, everybody if they involved, you can suspect everybody in total guy. Everybody will be suspected. Because again, another reason why I'm talking like this, according to what I'm hearing that mobile put a lot of things in that girl's name. I'm not saying anything yet, but I I am thinking it and everything is possible. You understand? If you do a serious thing, it is a 90% chance that that child is his, and a 10% chance that it's not his child. Even at that, if you do a DNA test, like I always said, say Mubad and Samilari and whoever name is being mentioned are still not guilty until proven guilty. You understand? All those videos that explain make we keep on test when they don't come country. You understand? I like the police also said. Um, they can bring them from anywhere they are. All the people that we mentioned in this case, every one of them should be brought in for questioning. Don't play. We will get justice. I love this case. We will get justice. This is Mubad and his child. This is Mubad and his child. That is Imole. This is during the naming ceremony. This is during the naming ceremony. Um, very dark man. I know this guy is a fantastic speaker. He's a wonderful boy. At least, he's a big guy, so don't let me be rude. But on this, ah, a lot of money go show so very dark man. Adeyemi Uluwa Shembada, you said sincerely, I don't trust that girl. No, ma, or oh, sir, this is not the time for us to talk about DNA. Honestly, DNA for what? Was there any issue between herself, that's the wife, and her husband when the man was alive? Don't ridicule this girl. Nigerians, let's stand against this. Let's speak in one voice. Why are men like this? Why are men like this? Why are you calling for DNA? Very black man or whatever your name is. You have been doing well with all the things you have been talking about. This one you have talked about is total rubbish. Because there has never been any controversy concerning that child. Hello, speak me. Hello, I'm Sergio Kere Kale. Yes, ma'am. I am so glad that you are bringing this matter up. Enjoy my Bino. Anything that has to do with Mubad, I am passionately interested in it. Okay, ma'am. You see that um, stupid, whatever his name is. Ah. Um, Black man. Black man. Black man. Black man. Black man. Eh. How dare he say that? Ni <sighs> bomi o ti bo. I want to share Guru by Motiri and one corner. She only won't do a day. Because I've got to my time when you are telling her about it. What about about it? What is your corner to share? Show that day. But I mean, what about when you are sharing or no? You could ball again. So, you could talk about boy. In there, in there, for anybody, you are safe. See me. See me. But what is very happy with this, with this life? This is the girl, so she's been for 10 years. Leave my mama, one boy at age 17, someone here, one is 14. So, what in job, man? I want to kill it. But people are going to talk to you about not being aware. 
I don't know. I sincerely, I just came back from work and I felt I should just do something about this. Doing DNA is highly ridiculous. Even the thought of you talking about it is, is dirty. It's like you're just, you're trying to inflict more pain in a woman, in a young girl that has just lost her husband. For you that has got that thing out, you are wicked. Honestly, that's the truth. Ikado Ishe, DNA for words. Was there any problem in the family? Husband and wife, the, the late video, I mean, voice note that you poor, hear me. Husband and wife having a fight. And the man was saying, eh, Timba Ziku, you will look for me. Go, go, and walk, you know, man, so. 95% of the Ah, If I die, it's you. And my family should be going on. What are you talking about? How dare you ask for DNA? Who are you to ask for DNA? Mr. Black Man or whatever your name is. You dare not ask for it. Because it's none of your fucking business. Who are you to ask for DNA? Are you the family? You're not a family member, Mr. Blackman. You're not a family member. Even the father has no right to ask for such. Because the wife, and the, 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 the son, has not said anything about that child or if there was any denial about having that child. Go and watch all the, the past videos he did with his wife. He said it in one lemony. That's my light. His friend asked, What's this child? He said, In one lemony. They won't see. Why are you destroying things that we are working on now? We thought we are all on this together. This is the time to, to, to fight for this guy's uh, 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 people that killed him. It's the time for us to fight for it. We are asking for justice. And you are asking for DNA. Now, back to property. So you, Mr. Blackman, unfortunately, your own thoughts are now back to where the family that you, you are complaining about are on. Because you said it in your own video. 
that this is the family that has been fighting over property. Hello. 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 Sherry, Sincerely, anybody that is talking about this now, honestly, I believe that person only only scones con. Sincerely, me more anybody to ban so the only person see momo to so we no ni um the black man na biki don't pay one, but muko feel pay because he's a man and he's a young guy. Do you understand? He's a young guy. He doesn't understand what this means. How can you be asking for DNA at this crucial time? That we are talking about justice for Mubad. Let's bring these people to book. The people that bullied him to death. That's what we are talking about. Let's bring them to book. We saw videos where he was being chased. Like you said, of course, we can see videos. Till there's evidence in court, there might be nothing. But at least we are clamoring for, for, for justice for this young guy. But you now, you're bringing out DNA. When there was no... Even the parents never said, about, uh, said anything about the, the, the paternity of the child. Of course, the father is envious of the relationship between Mubad and his mom before he died. 
Because he believes when Umuru Muto Mubad, he brought Mubad up. When mother left him for years. So seeing that child now going back to his mom is a pain for the father. And because of the father, the wife is more to the to the mother, to the to Mubad's mom, is a pain to the father. Hello, sir. Hello, Hello, sir. The governor gone back to the governor is for mine. The governor will look like that. Tony is for mine. Good to and yes, the governor will look to Google. Tony is for mine. Good me, you see. And it's also a pretty and a mere phone. So it's about okay. Oh, yeah, but wait, that will have to grab a lot. And the colonel is very dear. Only <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Hello, 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 ma. 
Okay, ma'am. Because a young Maximo, and then tell it also, I pay. Oh, my God, I'm a good job. I'm a good boy. I'm a good girl. I'm a good boy. 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 I'm because depression, Pacoto Munio, Nipa Teba Mutatu so good way. Ba wo le se fe ko mo yi live long ti e ni je ko mu na tu pare ta wa lo fe toju omo yen a bi si olohun e ma ko mo yen because omo mo badi a ti mo pe eyan alawa alawo awon olomo eni to jo para won awon olomo on to da won po ti olu won fi se gbogbo nkan yen that gbogbo nkan yi eni yi wa bi mo saye ton at one fit not your almost 24 years. Hmm. At two fit not your almost be. I'm not a good one. 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 Because I come out with it. I'm not a good one. 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 Ejo gbogbo eni keni to ba ngo ro yi ejo e ba wa be o gba won flaka bi blogger de ni won ni ko fi omo yi lohun sile ko je ko ri mu mi ko le ri emi se iya omo e ko jo ko ba wa be won ko fi omo bi ni omo kekere for that matter ko de ba wi bi pe won ti e yo yi fun bi baba mo ba di de fi je ko lo si alati mo nkan to sele because ito ko ma se je gbogbo ya awon ebi mo ba di gan ni won lo ba bo bo yi pada bi pe ohun ni ito ri ni ogun to fe gba lowo e ko ma wa wa awon ogun orisirisi ko ma wa wa si won lese e mo pe nkan be e na a le so eyan le so we can tell a le so e jo ma bi ko je pa won na ni elo ma se awon eyan ti se because eya e o step mode be lo n tenu mo eye o nkan to n tenu mo ogun ogun ni ogun ni ogun no n tenu mo ila to ma ogun no n tenu mo ari ogun no n tenu mo ogun ni o je possible o je pe nkan yi ati lo ba eni yi lo hun leyin ko ti wo pe a black man o eyan to ni boys ni ko de ti lo ba be ko jo ko ye slap omo yen mo ko ma fun la ta tension to fun mo ba di ko to ku ko je ko ri emi se iya omo e ko jo ko fi omo yi lo hun sile se won na gba do ati we sele sile won ni eni to ba wa gba do an pe ko won ri we ni ko ma so kiri ro ni pe omo yan so mo mo ba Omo ya ko jo ye ni o jo ye o de mu oju mo ba de ni ba wu omo yen dada because gbe temi go mo lati tun gbe fi tun pe ah ti jo omo yi jo mo e ta ba ti e ni eyin oju e mo pe baba lo jo e jo ma se won se awon eyan go ti gba nkan ti baba yen so gbo ni ti jo si lawo to gba gbo e won ko le wi body to ta gba gbo i like zen to le gba gbo Down. Because what in Bekiri? Hmm. What in Bekiri? What in Mo? Eh, picture Baba Yi. Don't try to see Mo Bad Kiri. He shouldn't get. What in the picture? What together? If we can share DNA, she can don't try that. So if we, in court of law, we need to see if we talk to Pani. No, in court of law now. Ma, you are not about to be a young woman. Shani to se yawo pelu eni to si wa pelu for the past 10 years to ti je wa ko to wa mo se yawo ko to wa bi mo ko ba mo ale gbe wa fun lati gba yen 
It's well, Auntie. God bless you. Eshima. Honestly, um, Ejo, he told so, so, can he to be your long over all of you? Say by Jay Abiyamu, take it, she'll be a bar. Sebanje abiamu se kin se abi agba e ni foju sukun omo we saw let me show you this video e jo on to bi olorun when this girl iyan yawo mu bad so fe bu iye pe si oko e mi mo boya gbo yin ti ri ah iye ti e ma bi Hello, Hello, Kola. Yes, ma. Yes. My sister, said you to Mobad loni pe yawe ti ko fun e lo e mo bi ti o ba se ma soro ti o ba mo ko ko ba ko o ko ri ba ko ni lo to pe mo attention to the wife okay ko se gbo ya eh operation no se fun do fun ko fun e lo okay eh ke o ye mi o ye mi o ye mi te ba lo listen ti interview baba yin oro ke e ri baba yin tenu mo ya o mobad o lo nko ko to ma npe i don't know Okay. This love has to post the girl compatible umbo. But when one guy is the APC law, she's a fool. But for a governor, who is a figure, on the by Tory pressure, Tory raise that one of you raise, to raise that two, Tory all right. Tory she to answer you says, "Oh, because she back cause she Tory she did the lucky one dele. How long did you call you to all of you? How long did you call you? Auntie, I don't want us to press the politics. Auntie, Auntie, Emma Benuma. Uh, mommy, uh, I mean, if you can feel politics, mm -hmm. she has to understand. Let's be optimistic. Oh. Let's be optimistic that it's going to go well. She understand. I can believe me. I'm not sure that. Honestly. I can't believe me. 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 We are one trade in my egg on the same focus, Lori. We are for whom come a flag. If I told you, I would not listen to the same company who comments a day. Muni, is this man okay at all? Are you wrong? My you are okay. And you told Lomometa, you are okay. 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 You are normal because 
Aba yu no ma mo. Yu no ma ra 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 ra. Sherry, the government, I just believe they have something to do with it. Oh, 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 clean. See, by there, who is the old dress, the lumati, give for that. I know Feko, I know Feko bring them to Pukupo, who said the own, who said justice, who do I say? But, eh, uh, uh, no, eh, uh, no, ma. Okay, I'm telling you, okay. What's it? I said, I can't do my own. Okay, what's it? But, the new one, I can't do. Emma Binu for cutting you, cutting where Timo Jacket or any monk of book of a sighted is also any monk of that you book when you told Lowany Luku Boy. Boy, when you told Lowany Nino Puerto Fitzy might like Boboy, but Bumo, you miss him. I mean, people were in Lowashman. I crack or Timmy Magma. I mean, I mean, a shake on my shimmer. Sincerely, Nigerians might be passionate about it. It's not only Nigerians, though, or long. Shemo, mo she resume. They may me. E ni ti mo de resume no. Be ni mo tu mo phone. Be me wa le me wa le me wa. Because wa kuma go ni kwe kilu shele kilu shele kilu shele. You know. That boy's blood is asking for justice. That is the truth. Mi o ri blogi no. Ti o gbe boy. And the way Naira Mali was loved. Ah, oh, what jabo benye? It goes a long way. Honestly, it goes a long way. Now, on the um, DNA, along with the party in jail, all of you asking for DNA, think about it. How would you feel, you women, if you are part of those that are scribing to it? How would you feel? If your own child is being asked to be brought for DNA, me, naturally, I won't like it too. I will say, ah ah, or call me, ulunu fair me. Sure, you don't trust me again, me. Because this trust is there. That means you don't trust your woman. But everybody talking about this thing now is about property. Why are we talking about it because of properties? Very dark man. Do you know what you are talking about? You are talking about it because you are saying uh, because the girl might not be faithful because of the fact that um, they left a lot of things into our care. It's all about property. Ah, uh, Mr. Darkman, you can do better than that. Sincerely, me, I love you, die. Because on two, you do, you do two actually bad people. Those who are selling fake clean. That's what we know you're doing. But on this particular one, why don't we focus our attention on this justice for Mubad and others that are being groomed? Have you thought about that grooming? Young stars are being groomed in Nigeria by these powerful people. You're not talking about that. You're talking about properties. Forget about this DNA. DNA that you have spoken about because they know you've got a voice. Maybe somebody spoke to you or maybe you just thought about it. But sincerely, that's not what we need now. This DNA thing is now going to shift our attention to okay, who get child, who no get child, who born the picking, who no born the picking. When we know when this guy was alive, he never doubted the paternity of his child. He kept his family away from us, from the whole world. He got married in a very secretive way. We never knew anything about his marriage. Why are you talking about it? Even the father, the baba that took care of the child, took care of uh, Mubad, and is feeling bad about it, he never talked about, okay, ah, maybe it's not even me that bond the, uh, my son that bond the child. No, never. Why are you bringing it up? And you know you got a voice, people will start talking about it. 
And for those of you that are now climbing on that, sorry, you're climbing on the wrong one. Everyone is a suspect, I understand, on this particular issue. But be careful of what you say. Be careful of, because this is not, we are not talking about the paternity of that child. All of you are chasing about the properties. It's all about the property now. Of what is God's, his properties. I saw this video. On his burial ground, when he was being buried, do you know the pastor that was supposed to be to be the one that you know that be giving everybody directives on how to make sure this guy goes to heaven? Mm -hmm. He was the one that was even owing the girl. Poor girl to pour the sand and go because of what he has been told. Ah, oh my god, me you to see me. Ah, my shit. I don't even understand me. Ah, I don't think I have it here. No, 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 see, I will do this. Good, this is it. Please, a woe, but it's in just you. Right from the day this guy died, that's when they buried him. I will show you on Niger's uh, on prevailing issues with Ajoke. Okay, please let me show here first on Niger styles. Give me the two of one. Oh, gosh, how I wish you knew. It might be no. It's not even speaking. Sorry, sorry, guys. A mob, you know. EJ Oma, there is nothing wrong with checking the battery of everyone. Is a suspect. Not now. What, what suspect? Is it a suspect that he killed, she killed her husband? Who are you talking about? I don't understand. It's about property that you people are talking about. Anyway. Opportunity lati we show you, but sincerely, Baba me, ah, but when you see a bad boy, they call him monkey crazy. Hey, but we show so get it clearer. Can we go more? You get it more tebine no. You go to the burial sites, and the girl was trying to pour sand on her husband, and she was praying. If you don't know what I'm talking about. The girl was praying for her husband and she was saying, anybody that killed you, God will bring them to book. God will expose them. And she was praying. You know the way, even when our mothers or our fathers, our parents died, we were always, when we were in Nigeria, we would say, come and pray for your parents and before you pour sand on them, that is the tradition. 
So as a widow, she was praying for her husband. And the pastor shouted at her, Die, go to my dancing. Die, yeah, but see, pour the sand and leave, please. Please, you are wasting our time. Pour, 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 pour the sand. The pastor was honoring the wife. Say, pour the sand. Pour. Even the way his action, his body language, everything about that man said it all. Because on that day, they were asking for papers to the uh, the, the, the cars he bought. All they are talking about, they were talking about, was about properties. Kosi Kamimu, properties in one so, and that was what the pastor had in mind when he was talking to the poor girl, twenty-four year old girl, that you are asking for DNA, all because now you are seeing that they are raising money for her and the child. Look, this child has got a long way to go. The child is only five months old. He's still using pampas, he's still eating food, baby food. So, lots of money are being spent on him. This child is going to go through kindergarten school, uh, nursery school, whatever you call it. He's going to go into primary school. He's going to go into secondary school. He's going to go into university before the mother can say, "Yeah, mujiri omo, talomba fungiri." But people are standing up to do go fund me for this child, not the mother, and you are standing against. As a man or a woman, why Jaya? Don't stand against her. Don't stand against that child. Because you have heard that they have raised about 25 million, 23 million. Does that mean that is what that girl is going to raise her child with? It goes more than that, way more than it. So, because you know now that they are raising money for her, because that man said he, he knows that they are raising money for that girl, uh, the child, you know, uh, in um, Tunde Ednot's platform and all that. It's here now, you are now fighting. Ah. But you know what? You are not fighting that girl, you are fighting that child. Just the way the oppressors fought. Mubad. You're fighting the child and the mother the way the oppressors fought Mubad. You don't want that light to shine forever. Please, Mr. Black Man, I'm addressing this to you sincerely. I love everything you do. I don't care if because you are you've got mouth or let no go. But whatever, can you please dump this and let us fight against injustice that we have seen, the oppression that we have seen. That oppression is too much. On the poor, you don't understand. This oppression is form is deeper than what you think. They are fighting the poor, the vulnerable. And then you are that you that we know that you're fighting for the oppressors. You're on our sides. On our side. You're now there saying they should do. Don't let them ah, ah don't let them use you now or whoever. We are not talking about who cares about DNA. When this guy was alive, he never doubted the the paternity of his child. He held them close to his heart. He kept them away from us. 
on the social media. Why are you bringing it on? Why are you talking about it? Don't be a blackmailer. God bless you. I love you all. God bless you. I'm walking in the morning. I see you in the evening. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Please share my program. Buy all stars if you love us. Please, please, please. And spread the news. We don't need this now. We need justice for Mubad and others that are being oppressed. Yes. Oppression is not only about money. It goes beyond, beyond that. Do you understand? You okay? It goes beyond that. They are dragging your children. They are bringing the vulnerable ones into their cartel. They're wasting their generation. They're wasting their future. And we are there watching. And we are talking about properties. A big story. Everybody can be a suspect. <laughs> can be a suspect. Hello, I'm sorry, okay? Can I Hello. I just saw you said everyone is a suspect. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to you. I'm going to I'm going to you. I'm going to 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 Come back on the million for my phone, the man for whom. Oh, my phone, the boy, yes, my last man, 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 so you know, the uh, yeah, well, my bad. That's a uh, girlfriend or whatever. Yeah, will not pay more. Yeah, will because so she wedding for yeah, well, my bad. And the child to be done. I see a boy, yeah, will to one in US. Only can get in touch with Lua. We pay Kafuni number. If you can get in touch with us, one hour call you, but she married you. You know, let the team more. Can I bother? But if you really want to get in touch with us. Um, can get in touch with us and then um, he can tell you how to go about it according to our call out the, call, the number to call is plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five Plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. You can always call us for any story you've got and you want to share with us. And for that family, I wish you all the best. But muko mukwe muli bam kato geti ni kolo she di ene one million time. Mkoti o make sense ni one so. Awa ade duo we are against that because we got to come walk on lane. Eh, olo ma wo wa nle te ba suspect ya wo pe she's part of a won to pa eh she she why don't you do your investigation on the 
the matter at hand. Why are you talking about DNA? Because of properties, nothing else. And I stand against that as a woman, and I stand with that young girl, see, along Funi Omo, and all others that are standing against drug abuse, um, grooming, and whatever, cultism, I stand against it as, uh, 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 as a platform. I love you all. Thank you so much. And I pray to share, share, share. So that anywhere you see my program, you watch it. And please, 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 call us, give us stories, and we'll talk about it. But for now, it's all about Mubad. Until we get the right justice, we will not stop. We'll talk about it daily. We love you all. Have a wonderful night. God bless you. Bye.